Getting towards the end of the second round here, the Seattle Seahawks selected Dwayne Eskridge at 56. And this is one of my favorite picks so far at day two. He's a burner with big playability and good route running ability. This is going to help out Russell Wilson immensely. It was pretty evident last season that they needed another outlet to go with the ball. So teams now have to worry about Metcalf, Lockett, and Eskridge. This should be really good for the Seahawks. The Rams at 57 selected 2-2 Atwell. And because there isn't a lot of quality receivers left, I like the pick. He's actually a lot like Dwayne Eskridge. He's got lightning speed that can take the top off the defense. And this is essentially the Rams' backup plan if Deshaun Jackson can't stay healthy and do that job. Because if he can't, 2-2 will definitely take the top off of the defense with no problem. The Chiefs were up next, and they selected Nick Bolton. I don't really have a lot to say about this pick. He didn't make my cut at the linebacker position. So the Chiefs must see something in him that I don't, but I'm not a fan of this pick here. I think they could have gotten him later on in the draft. The Carolina Panthers made their selection next with Terrace Marshall out of LSU, and I personally don't like this pick. Sometimes you just get a feel from a guy, and I didn't like what I saw on film. He had some good stats, of course, but some guys are just not meant for the pros, and that's what I think of Marshall. I don't think he's going to have the grit to handle the NFL level. I could be wrong, but that's my take on him. I did not like this pick. And the Saints made their pick of day two with Pete Warner, and I hate this pick. You know, there are a lot of other linebacker prospects still on the board that are better, in my opinion, like Justin Hillard or Jabril Cox. This is a miss by the Saints. So with that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, more videos coming.